France is a beautiful country, famous for its cheese, its countryside, its people, and its bread. So many good food and so much things to do in France. But how is it like there as a software engineer? If you're in this video, you're probably interested in how much people actually make in France. And if you can have a good lifestyle there. So let's dive into the salary of an average software engineer in France. So first, you need to consider two things. So one uh, in Paris, salaries will be higher than outside of Paris, like Lyon or Montpellier or Toulouse. And second is that um, freelance will make a way better salary than people in uh, full-time jobs. So first, we will see uh, people with full-time job, how much they make per year. So if we go into this, so let's start first with how much people make in Paris. So to start, um, all the links I will show you today, they will be in um, the description. So if you need to see the links, please uh, see below. So um, to get into it, so this is how much make a software engineer on average in Paris. So 52,000 euro per year. This is uh, so the base salary and the bonuses. Uh, this is a uh, before tax, so it's really important because um, this is before tax, but in France, we have a lot of taxes. So if you want to see how much it makes after paying taxes, so there is this website. Um, it is in French, but I think you can find it um, in English. Let me check. Okay, we cannot get it in um, in English, but this is in French. So this is for uh, how much you make uh, per month, but we want per year. So per year, if we make, we said uh, 52,000, this is how much you make for your salary. So this is how much uh, your company has to pay because they have to pay taxes additional to this. So they pay about 20,000 euro of taxes. And this is what you get after the first um, taxes. And after all the taxes, this is what you will make in Paris. Okay, so let's say this is uh, after tax. So per month, it's about uh, 2,900 euro. So it's quite a good salary still, because if you look at the cost of living in Paris, um, for a single person without rent, uh, according to Numbeo, it costs about 990 uh, 991 euro and um, for the rent if you check how much it is so in the center it's so 1286 so in total you will spend about 2100 euro which means that you will be able to save about 800 euro per month uh, 800 euro per month but they don't take into account that you have a lot of holidays on average, you have like at least five weeks, but between six to 10 weeks. So it means you can take at least one week um, every two months. So to be honest with this salary, at the end of the day, you don't save too much money if you go on holidays. Um, yeah, because life is quite expensive in Paris. Then let's say you don't live in Paris, but in other cities, so like Montpellier. So the salary would be lower. In this case, it's 44,000. So if I put it here, so 44,000. After tax, it will be about 30,000, which is 2,572. But life in Paris is cheaper. I don't know if they, yeah, they have it here. Now compared to Paris, life is way cheaper. I just want to see Montpellier. So just seeing Montpellier, you see that without rent, you pay about uh, 800 euro per month. And if you add the rent, it can be as low as uh, 600, yeah, 700. So in total, you will be spending about um, 1,500 euro, which means with this salary, you will be able to save about 1,000 euro per month. And you have to take into account that you will go to the on holidays, so you will be spending some money too. So it's still okay. You can save some money depending on the lifestyle you have there. But
but you will not be able to save that much money. So now let's see how much money you make if you work as a freelance. So uh, on average, the salary for a freelance on this famous platform in France, so Malt.fr, on average, they were making about 562 euros per day. So if we want to have more details, so for really junior people, so between zero to two years of experience, they were making an average 300 euros per day, which can very really um, depends on how um, well you negotiate this. When you have more experience like between two to seven years, on average, you were making about 423 euros per day. And it could go up to um, 800 if you're really good, as you can see when you're really experienced. This is really um, on average for Paris and other cities and really depending on what skills you have. So if we want to see more about what uh, skills you have, if you are full stack, it was about 589. You can see that it was really high for a Scala developer. And uh, it's really interesting. If you want to go on this website, you can really see like depending on what skills you have, but the salary really depends on that. And for a WordPress developer, it was really the lowest. As you can see for 400 on average. And so here you can see also uh, for the same technology, depending on the cities. So for instance, um, when you're a full stack developer in Paris, on average, you were making 651 euro, which is quite impressive. Also, it's before tax, remember? And compared to Bordeaux, where it's already 100 euro less. On Marseille, it's almost 200 euro less. And um, here you can see some people and they put how much they charge. But what's really interesting, so let's say we make a uh, average of 562 euro. Um, so 562 euro per day. Let's say we work about 200 days per year. So it will make about 100, 112,000 euro per year before taxes. And so when we go on this website, uh, it is the website official, so Earthsaf is from um, one of the French government. I don't know if we can go there ourselves because it's, you, are, you will have to pay uh, taxes to them. So if you start working in France, you will see that. But so if we make about, so 100 to 1,000 euro per year before taxes, let's say we don't have any expenses. Actually you have, because if you're a freelance, I don't know, you have about like for buying a new computer, a screen, um, things like this. You will have just to remove this. And so after taxes, it will be about 57,000 euro per year, which is about 4,800. So you can really see the difference uh, compared to here where we had about um, 3,000 euro per month. Now we are already at 4,800, so there's 1,800 more. And so it means that you can save easily half of your after tax income, which is really a lot. And you can really enjoy a comfortable lifestyle. Just to live well in Paris, if you're alone, you need uh, 2,000 euros. If you got a family here, a family of four, with a rent, it's 3,500, so it could be a bit um, low because then you have to pay for an apartment which is again about 3,000 euro. So if you have a family that you need to support, it will not be enough still. But if you don't have a family to support, and if you live, if you're a bachelor, then it can really be a great deal. So to conclude in this video, we saw that um, salaries in Paris are higher than outside of Paris, but um, it doesn't really make a lot of difference because you will pay a lot of taxes if you have a full-time job. So you could not get a better lifestyle in Paris compared to other cities like Marseille or Lyon or Montpellier if you have a full-time job. But in the case of doing freelancing, we saw that you can make so much more money even after taxes. And it really makes a difference if you want to live in a big city like Paris where you will be able to save actually a lot of money and even do um, crazy activities like Emily in Paris.
So if you like this video, please tell me in comments. And if you want to learn more about uh, working in France or any other subject, please uh, tell me in the comment below. And uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.